Hitler incinerated six million Jews. It was a Holocaust. Many of these Jews, they took shelter in Palestine. And our Muslim brothers in Palestine, they welcomed them with open hearts. They welcomed their cousins, the Jews, with open hearts. Come and take shelter in our home. They welcomed them. But what happened? Many years later, the same people who were welcomed by the Muslim brothers in Palestine, they take them out of their own home. They occupy their home. And when the Muslim brothers are crying, please give our home back, they are calling them as terrorists. And this is common. You see this happening many places in the world. We know that the Britishers, the French, the Portuguese, they occupied more than two thirds of the world, especially the Britishers. They occupied many parts of the world. They came to my country, India, and they called Bhagat Singh. When Bhagat Singh tried to take them out of India, they called him as the biggest terrorist at that time. They occupied USA, America, and when George Washington fought again for the freedom of the country, the Britishers called George Washington as terrorist number one. We know the history of South Africa. Nelson Mandela, when he fought for his freedom, he was called as terrorist number one and imprisoned in Robin Island for more than 25 years. But we Indians, we call Bhagat Singh as a freedom fighter, not a terrorist. The Americans, they call George Washington not as a terrorist, but as one of the greatest freedom fighter. The South Africans, they call Nelson Mandela not as a terrorist, but one of the greatest freedom fighter. Same way today, when our Muslim brothers in Palestine, they are doing farz kefaya They are protecting the third holiest place of Islam, Masjid Aqsa. And when they are fighting for their freedom, most of the Western world, and Israel are calling them terrorists. We Muslims, we call them as freedom fighters. They are protecting the land. And we know today, in the last one month, they, the Israelis have been doing atrocity for decades, for more than 50 years. In the last one month, they have killed thousands of innocent Palestinians, women, children. We condemn this genocide. And we ask the world to tell Israel to stop this genocide. We pray for our Palestinian brothers and sisters that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Jannah to the people who have been martyred. May Allah give them sabr to sustain this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them victory and raise them in Jannah for those. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's easy for him to solve this problem. What is Allah doing? Allah is testing us. And the Palestinians, alhamdulillah, most of them will get flying colors. But what about us Muslims? What are we doing? I gave a speech on the 13 action points for the Muslim Ummah as far as Palestine is concerned. Allah is testing us. What are we Muslims doing? They will pass with flying colors. They are doing farzik fire. What are we Muslims all over the world doing? Are we doing a job? Please do listen to my talk. 13 action points for the Muslim Ummah for Palestine. The Sultan had invited me for this program more than three months back. And after I accepted the invitation to come on 2nd of November, my lawyers told me that there is an important case going on in Malaysia. You have to attend on 2nd of November. I said, no. I have given the word to the Sultan. I cannot cancel my trip. <laughs> and today morning, few hours back was the hearing, the final and verdict of the case. I had filed a defamation case against Ramaswamy, who is the Deputy Chief Minister of Penang. He was, because he insulted me. Four years ago, in August 2019, I gave a talk in Klantan, a state in Malaysia. And mashallah, there were more than 100,000 people for my talk. It was the largest religious gathering in Malaysia, mashallah. A foreigner coming and giving a talk in Klantan, more than 100,000 people gathered, and the chief minister gave me the award, Dai of the Ummah. The non-Muslim enemies of Islam, they could not digest it. Few days after the talk, they started branding me. Zakir is the terrorist, Zakir is the hate preacher. So what I did, I picked up the five most important people who maligned me. And most of them, all of them, were politicians. One, what I did, I sued them in the court of law. When I sued them, one person was a cabinet minister of human resources. Second person was a deputy chief minister of Penang. One person was member of parliament. Fourth person and the fifth person, they were member of assemblies, all politicians. All of them of Indian origin maligning me. What I did, I filed the suit against them. They told, who is this foreigner? When we criticize the prime minister, no one does a case against us. Who is this foreigner who is suing us? Allah blessed most of them. 
they did an outside court settlement with me and they apologized to me. I said, no problem. But the biggest enemy of Islam, who I call, I did not forgive him. I said, we let the court case go on. The court case went for two years and today morning was the verdict. Today morning, few hours before the verdict was there and the judge told Ramasamy, who was at that time the deputy chief minister of Penang, to pay a fine of 1.52 million Malaysian ringgit to Dr. Zakir Naik as compensation. 1.52 Malaysian ringgit is equivalent to 320,000 US dollars. It is equal to 383 million Naira. If one dollar is 1,200 Naira, then the judge of high court ordered Damaswamy to pay Dr. Zakir Naik within 30 days 1.52 million ringgit which is equal to 320,000 US dollars, which is equal to 383 million Naira. And I today, I pledge this amount, this complete amount for the cause of Palestine. I want to donate this full amount. This is the least I can do. This complete amount of 1.52 million ringgit, 320,000 US dollars, 383 million Naira, I pledge it as a donation to the Palestinian cause for our brothers and sisters in Palestine. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this verdict just came few hours before, today early morning. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant the martyrs and the firdos, may he give sabr to the brothers and sisters in Palestine, may he give them istiqama and inshallah, inshallah, victory will be ours. Surely, Allah is testing us. Are we following the Quran or not?